I make music constantly, always making music. I'll start and it'll just be like a verse and a hook. That'll lay there for two years, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I'll come back to it and the verse and the hook becomes that. And then I listen to the music. Now, now I make doing more to the music and things like that. And that's kind of how uh, the process was for Cognac and Conversation. I didn't have this pain to pour out. It was more so just like music coming out mm -hmm. than these these feelings. Do you understand Yo, what I'm saying? So was that hard for you? Because that was Very. that was yeah, that was something that was tough, like learning how to when you're used to, I guess, creating from a place of pain or trauma or like a bad Yeah, I got the whole Mary Blake J. Blige thing. The more pain right. I'm in, the better the music. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It's really whack, you know, to the point to where I'll thrust myself into some bullshit mm -mm. to feel something. Mm -mm. Just for a good, dude, just for a good jam. I was going to ask. To learn. You're not the first person I know that keeps their ex on standby. Well, no, no, no. I'm not saying you said that, but I know people that yeah, actually I said, <laughs> I got to get with my ex real quick. No, I, I, I know people that actually Let me spin the block. Their ex on <laughs> right, get their ex on standby so they can finish this last verse or something. I, like need, I need some toxic tales. You know, it, it really <laughs> what it is, is like you need to feel because I'm a genuine person, so I can't, I can't just, you know, act like I feel something. I always, everything I, everything I say and do is coming from my heart. You know what I mean? So like, I just, at that time, cognac and conversation was more about, okay, you're at a place where you, you know, you're no, you're not in pain anymore. You're chilling, yeah, you whatever, are. and you're ready to go out here and do your thing. You a grown woman, you sexy, you fly, like you know, go out here and do your thing. But it was different in writing it because that ain't really deep. I'm not mad no more, <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So You work on on that record. You work with two very good, uh, two good friends of mine uh, from the Bay. My man, Trackademics, Academics. and oh, yeah. you did the uh, so special record with my man Brandon. Uh, one, uh, one of a kind, one oak. How did y'all link up? I was very surprised to see you and happily surprised to see you work with them. How did you uh, come across their, their work? Oh, my God. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I never knew that's what One Oak stood for. Wait, yeah, what one is, of a kind. I didn't yeah, either. I'm kind. sorry. Yeah. I thought it was the address of the New York club. I'm OK. No, but I, I my mind, like, why would he name himself after that night, night spot? Me too, no. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely had to ask him that question. And he told me what was going on. Uh, I definitely had to ask him, well, why, you know, because I like Brandon. How you could have just been Brandon? Right. <laughs> That's how I always called him Brandon. That's how I was you know shout, what? shouting um, him. The Bay is another place that, I, you know, a lot of support in the Bay, Bay. And I, you know, I have cities in America and outside of America that are cities that I can always get my money from. And so the mm. Bay was one of those cities. And um, Trackademics hit me a long time ago because he was just such a fan of, this is all social, social media, how I met them, you know, because he hit me and he was a fan of complex simplicity. And I'm the type of person that I don't just like, eh, eh, I don't do that. I really always go look and see who this is. I don't care if it's somebody that's huge or, you know, whatever. I go check it out and see. And I just love his sound to this day. Like, we work constantly. Oh, we man. always work together because he has such a great sound. And to me, I'm okay with evolving into anything that I'm supposed to evolve into. But there's a base to what my sound is. And I don't, I don't like to um, really kind of like dismiss that base. You know what I'm saying? Like it can be something different and, and fresh and new, but it has to have that base. And he completely has that base. We call it um champagne soul. It's like it's really, <laughs> yes, really indeed. sophisticated, you know, mm. twirl. The girls don't twerk, they twirl, you know. Yes. And so it was just very easy. <laughs> it was very easy for us to connect. And Brandon kind of came along with that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I um I I like that the record. Um that was on the the luxurious underground joint, the so special and missing you. Those are my two ones from that. I I love Thank both you. of those songs. For real. Thank you very much. Missing you was like a spillage mm -hmm. from the album that was supposed to be the Young Lions. It was just spillage from this album that yeah. I dismantled. Yeah. So okay, yeah, the Young Lions. What happened? What happened with that record? Um. Well, Paulie wasn't there anymore. I think Brian was dead set on me working with one producer like we did before. Okay. But like mm -hmm. I said, you know, I, I, I hate to be vulgar. People think it's vulgar, but I always say making music is to, for me. I can't speak for other people. It's like having sex. And I'm not a very promiscuous woman because I can't connect with everybody like that. And I don't do things just to do them. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. me and Polly, we had good sex. You know had what thing. We had yeah. the chemistry, you know, mm -hmm. and I just didn't find somebody else to do that with. So I would go out and work with all these different people, but I don't think that they were trying to recreate that that thing mm. and so before um we could figure that out uh i was ready to go you know yeah. and then tvt kind of just went a, fell apart it went uh, bankrupt 
in of your in your material, I think the person that I've here that you have a really good chemistry with, and I don't know personally, you know, if it, it compares to a poly or not, but you and Bink, like you know, mm. y'all do not fucking miss. Like I love mm. the records y'all do together. What was because it we, like working we, with him? We, we, we really friends, you know. Okay. Like Bink and I are really friends. Like Bink will uh call me and vent, and I'll listen. You yes, know. He will. <laughs> Yes, he will. <laughs> and so we will Shout out to Bink. Shout out to Bink. Much you know, love to Bink. Yeah, you will. <laughs> and so, so I, I think that's the thing. I think that um, I've been in the studio with the most, the most world-renowned and amazing producers. And like I said, it's like sex. It don't mean it's going to work. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And I think me and Bink just have a good chemistry. I think because I really genuinely like him and he genuinely like me and we care about each other. So it comes out that like that. And I wish I could just have sex with anybody, but I can't. And that's kind of how it is with music. I can't, I can't, I can come in here and I can have every good intentions to make this great, you know, but if it doesn't click, I don't know how to go in the mode of like, this isn't clicking, make it click. I don't know how to do that because I feel like I'm in my sweet spot when it, when it's like rolling, when I force it, it gets really whack. And I don't like that part of what I do. It makes me start to feel like I'm like, so I'm like, I don't, 